everybody, it's Kim, and today I'd like to share with you a couple of little projects I have. Um, I'm doing a swap with a friend of mine, and we had decided that we would make each other something and also add some lace and a few supplies and goodies. So, um, these are the two things that I've done. And the first one you can see is a, a card. It's an easel card. And it goes like this. And what I used... Um, is the coordinations paper and this paper is so great because it's very dimensional and I just took my Prima tool and sanded it all down and roughed up the edges and you can see it give it this really sort of shabby look and then I used the Graphic 45 Secret Garden paper love this paper and um, I used this gorgeous um, purple one. I really love that. And then this is another one here. And then I just rolled back the edges of it. And in here, I made this little tag. Sort of an art tile look to it. And then I used one of the Prima Lyric um, paper clips there. And then just paper clipped another piece from the collection. One of the little stamps that says Lily of the Valley. And the tag just slips right in there. And then on the front I've got some more of the Secret Garden pieces and um, I just stamped on here Special Thought for You. And I put on this really pretty little piece here and I think I got this from a swap I did last year with uh, Linda Excalibur Nation. Hi Linda! <laughs> and um, I thought it looked perfect there so I added it and then of course the gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft flowers I added there and there's a little doily behind you can just see it there and this is some vintage lace that I have in my stash and I, I just love it it's so pretty and I put some here and I also put some up here as well on the top and you can see that it's very sheer here and then it's got the pretty embroidered flowers right there um, so that's basically the front and I also curled up a little piece here but I really like it and I love how the the tag was in there. I think that's cool. So that's the front. And again, it's an easel card. So it sits up like this. And then this is more uh, vintage lace from my stash. And then I added a couple of roses in the purple and another one of the little stamps. And then under here, this is um, some Maya Road trim. Fuzzy stuff. Looks like netting. And I put that down first, and then I put the lace on top, so it just kind of give it a really pretty little fringe look. But I love how it works with this vintage lace and picks up the purple. So that's my card. So I hope she likes that. And then I will show you now my second project. And my second project is this box. And um, she told me that she liked... I'm just going to move my camera back a little bit if I can adjust this slightly. There, hopefully that'll work. She told me that she liked um, vintage grunge, so that's kind of what I based <laughs> this project on. Um, this box I got from Dollarama, and as you Canadian crafters know, Dollarama is an amazing, amazing place to get lots of crafty goodies, and they have the best boxes there. Um, this box is really nice and deep. You can see there's my hand, so it's quite deep. And um, I used the Prima engraver paper on it, and then once, and I painted it black. And then when I got the paper on, I took out a couple of different masks. I've got the brick mask here from Prima, and it's a little bit here as well, and then a little bit on this side and then some on the back and then at the top I used the script stamp the art is one and uh, once I got that all on I distressed it more with some Lindy's um, I used dark chocolate truffle and frozen jack frost I believe um, because I wanted the colors to stay you know in the, that range and then up here on the top I rolled the paper back and I put a, um, a really, really vintage doily I had back here. I just love this color. So after I did that, I added this really cool zipper, which is from Prima. It says Create. And then I added a chain 
which comes down to this wooden key I have here. And then I the top of the key has a sort of a round part to it, so I took one of the Butterbee scraps, copper metal pieces, and I glued it on top. And I took one of the little Tim Holtz hitch fasteners, and then I attached the chain from there to the zipper. And of course, Wild Dark Craft Flowers. And these are a couple of wooden gears and a little piece of bling. More flowers, another Butterbee scrap piece. And then on the top over here, I've used, uh, this is a Prima flower. This is from Prima, Wild Orca Crafts. These gears here and down here are from Leaky Shed Studio. This is a wooden one I had. And what I did with them was uh, I painted them first and then I used different embossing powder. I used silver, copper, and black and I just kept embossing them until they got like all bubbly and sort of rusty looking. And these clock hands here are also from Leaky Shed Studio, they're chipboard as well. And I did the same thing with them. Um, and then of course they got sprayed with the uh, the Lindy's as well. So there's more Prima flowers there and here. These are all Wild Orchid Crafts. Wooden clock I had and the word Inspire. This is a little light bulb from I stole from my hubby's workshop. <laughs> so that is the top. And then on the front, I used a wooden domino here. And this is another Leaky Shed Studio piece. And again, the same process. Lots of different layers of embossing powder, and then it was sprayed with Lindy's. And this is one of the new um, Tim Holtz letters um, I got from Discount Paper Crafts on Etsy. And um, I put an S here because the lady's name starts with an S. And then there's another wooden clock, the same piece from the top, I just cut it in half. And another little Wild Orchid Craft flower. Um, this is from Wild Orchid Crafts, this corner here, the silver one. And on the side, you can see I've used a Butterbee scrap piece there, and also on the other side as well. And then I finished the bottom off. I just cut out another piece from the paper, and I used my Prima stamp that says handmade, and I signed it for her. Um, this lace here, I forgot to mention, um, this is some of my Hordevelt vintage lace. <laughs> Um, it was painful to use it, but I did it because it just it worked so well there, and I really wanted it to have, well, like a vintage grunge feel. So I'm really hoping that I accomplish that. And this is just some vintage lace I had um, in my stash. I think I got this from uh, eBay actually in a box of lace that I bought off eBay. So that is my box. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really pretty. So let me see if I can get a, a better look here. I'm going to have to move my camera. There we go. So there's the top. Let me fix that for you. You can see the chain is connected to the key there. Um, it's coming around to over here. And then there's the front. I really love this cream engraver paper. It's so pretty. So that's it. And then I will show you my card. Whoops. And there's my card. So those are the two projects that I made for her. So I really hope that she likes them. And let me know what you think. Feel free to subscribe or comment if you like. And if you subscribe, I always subscribe back. So um, have a good day, guys. And I uh, will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.